Hey guys, welcome to Super Style. This is Prachi, and today I'm gonna do a review for a Patanjali cream for which I have received a lot of requests, okay? So this is a Patanjali Sondari Swarna Kanti Fairness Cream, basically the Patanjali Gold Cream. And also I picked up the Patanjali Silver Cream and I thought of doing a review of both and comparison of both because I just thought it would make the video a lot more, you know, useful. So I have to tell you in short, I am so disappointed and I hate saying this because I like Patanjali. In fact, I love Patanjali, you know, it's a, it's a great Indian brand, uh, inexpensive stuff, uh, things that usually work. Things which I don't like, I usually just don't like, but with these two creams, I have to say I hate them guys. I just hate them. And there's a very simple reason for me having such a strong opinion on these creams, okay? Now this cream, it, it is 15 grams cream and I actually stored this box to show it to you. 15 gram cream, it, it comes in this big box, okay, so when you pick it up off the shelf, you think you're getting something of this size, whereas what you're getting is this, this was 399 rupees, okay, and genuinely guys, I believe that if any company has good intentions, they will not do this, now with like, you know, when you're buying a packet of chips, you know these days that, you know, you're basically paying for the air in the packet of chips, you're barely going to get anything inside it, but, you know, with a brand like Patanjali, you just don't expect this to happen. So, I was very disappointed right after opening the package. Same thing with the silver cream. This is for, for uh, 300 rupees, again for 15 grams, and they did the exact same thing with it. So, I felt that was not right, and, you know, it was kind of, like, misleading in some ways. And that's just something which kind of set me off right at the beginning. Yet, I was willing to try these creams out and, you know, just see if they actually work or not. Honestly guys, I don't even think they contain half of the things that they claim to contain. Like the ingredients of these creams, okay, they say that uh, it contains aloe vera, it contains vitamin E and all kinds of amazing things which are supposed to do so much of good to your skin and then it does nothing. Plus, a gold cream, a silver cream, a gold cream for 399 rupees, are you kidding me? I mean 399 is an expensive price for a cream but honestly you no company you know can afford to put gold in a 399 rupees cream because they would go absolutely bankrupt i mean they probably have put like say one drop of gold in like i think 10 million grams of this cream which is which makes it like absolutely negligible right same with the silver cream usually you know like when you see patanjali beauty products they are like of really low price and they work so well usually they work so well and then you see an expensive cream and your first thought would be like oh my god if the low price products work so well and expensive cream maybe it will just do wonders for my skin and then you just pick it off the shelf and then you see that it does nothing personally i have not been having a lot of uh, skin issues lately so i kind of made two other people that i know try this cream out one was my mom one was my friend they both said that it's supposed to be a fairness cream first of all neither of them are into this fairness thing okay they were actually just trying this cream out for me and uh, i i actually appreciate that you know like to be comfortable with uh, whatever your actual skin tone is and I also tried it out over here, like from the last around 10 days, I've not been doing any DIY. So I have a little mark over here suddenly, a little bit of dark circle, a little bit of discoloration over here. This cream didn't do anything. And to look at it this way, like if you actually use this cream properly on your face and neck, you would easily be spending around 35 to 55, 60 rupees per application. Uh, something of the same sort with this cream. It's a huge amount of money to pay, okay? And with each application, you, you need to get at least some, some result to kind of justify the price that you're paying. It didn't do anything for about 10, 12 days of use for this cream for any of us. Same with this cream. I asked my mom and my aunt to use it. And uh, both of them were like, I don't know why you're making me try this really expensive cream that doesn't even work. So, like my mom, she actually threw it away like after, you know, a few days. She's like, okay, I have had enough of this stupid cream. I'll go back to my, you know, regular cream. So, I don't know, I mean, it just really hurts me to say this, that, you know, Patanjali seems to be taking advantage of its market reputation and the Indian psyche, you know, where we have grown up believing that gold and silver for your beauty uh, care is just the royal, the awesome thing to do. It's just got nothing in it, nothing that it promises. So, overall, I would say that don't buy this cream. It smells good, it has good, uh, it can moisturize your skin kind of well. It also adds a soft shine, you know. So, if you have like clear skin and if you just want to use like something as a BB cream or just a kind of, just want to put a layer of something, you can use this but then again, you have much cheaper options in the market instead of going for something like this. So, yeah, I mean, apart from the good smell, moisturizing and a little bit of shine, temporary shine, this cream does nothing else. So, I would suggest that you go back to your regular other Patanjali creams or 
other moisturizers and as of patanjali i really hope that they don't do this again because honestly i'm so disappointed i don't want patanjali to do this and i don't want patanjali to do what every other company in this world seems to be doing you know selling uh, things that sound so good but they do absolutely nothing so yeah that was just my quick review for these two creams as for the process of comparison i guess i have done the comparison as well both of these creams they absolutely suck uh guys uh, before i end this video just a quick mention if any of you have tried these two creams or any other products from patanjali which you have not liked okay usually we talk about things that we like if you have tried something which you don't like uh, please write in the comment section below because i think it's important for everyone to be more aware of the market you know and to know which products to buy which to avoid both of both in both parts of the information are like very important so if you have tried any patanjali product which has disappointed you please write the name of the product in the description box in the comment section below so i can learn about it and the others can also learn about it and if this video has helped you or if it has saved your money or if you agree with my review of these two creams uh, please don't forget to hit like to this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet also guys if you're not following me on my social media i'm already there on facebook twitter snapchat instagram by the way i'm also using ropo so these days sometimes so you can follow me there as well all the links have been shared in the description box below and with that i'm going to end this review thank you so much for watching this is me prachi signing off now bye bye